Alright guys, welcome back. And I'll just, uh, read this again. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay. Jason, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. Totally. I felt to sound enthusiastic, but Siori still trods away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yes, Monica, yes. Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing, like record this game. <laughs> I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Azuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? I thought we were going to do it in front of the whole group. Let's go with Monica first, I guess. I should start with Monica. I'll move the mouse. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. Hi Jason. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Don't worry, Jason. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sorts of things in common. Ah, well. We may be good friends, but Siori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case, but maybe there are also some similarities you, that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You're sure you're not reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each your own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little 
be it biased toward their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Alright. Can I scroll up and down or no? <laughs> Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No. I can't see. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything, a hole of infinite choices, I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, it's, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can really be powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you will never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to next? I just want to see what Nazuki, <laughs> her reaction. Well, it's about what I expect from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah. 
I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. But if Nasuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, I'm guessing we had to share it with everyone. Eventually. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot to start speaking, um, it's fine, don't force yourself, I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words, hold on, okay, this is your first time writing a poem, right, uh, yeah, why do you ask, I'm just making sure, I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so it's that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice. And learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Azuki can be a little bit biased though. Bias? How? Um... Well... Never mind. 
I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Nazuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Ghosts Under the Light The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time, the last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calms, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh... Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh-huh. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Jason. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance at over it. After all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Alright, so you're always next. And then I'll end the video, if I can. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Jason. Uh, I love it. I had no idea you were such a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. Jeez, Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Hey, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Jason poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. 
I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Jason. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that, then. Yay. Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. We'll see about that. We got the music and everything. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed. Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Sayori. This is just a guess, but, uh, did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it, that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or... How should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. This was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Poof. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for watching. And if it saves and loads right, then uh... Then I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye guys.